I say we, I don't mean me. I wasn't there. Oh, oh, that makes total sense. I never thought about it before, but that makes total sense. That really surprises me. So today I thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the reasons people may have immigrated, emigrated, immigrated. I always get those two mixed up. Left Ireland and gone to the America. Actually, not just Ireland, other countries too, because America is a land that is made up of people from different places. So that's what we're gonna do today. I know next to nothing about it other than the fact that my grandmother went in from Ellis Island when she was a little girl, following her dad and her mom went over with her and her sister, so. A few years ago, I went over and checked it out myself and I even wrote a little song about the experience if you've been around long enough on this channel. May the roads rise to meet you Courage from what's been And winds always at your back Cherish all you'll see Big dreams cross seas But yeah, today let's learn a little bit more about that whole situation. Before I get into the video, do be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. And if you like me a little bit, you might want to join Patreon and get two more doses of me every week. And that little guy, mostly you can just see his bum now, but there are other parts of him on Patreon too. If you want to watch the whole video, it's over on the TDC channel and I'll have the link in the description box as always. By state look at how immigration to America has changed over time. In 1850, the vast majority of new Whoa, from Ireland, of Ireland, Germany. In the 1860s, the labor shortages during the Civil War created strong demand for immigrant labor. 1870s saw Okay, first off, sorry to stop it so early on, but I'm interested in Germany. I didn't know there were that many Germans in America. I always hear about Italians and the Irish and obviously African Americans, but Germany, I did not know so much about, especially with the history that you guys have of fighting against the Germans. It's interesting to see that you have a lot of ancestry in America of Germans. Coming into 1870, it looks like you have the most Irish, and I'll say it once and I'll say it again, the Irish bred like rabbits. It was the whole Catholicism, contraception was forbidden. We went over and spat our seed. I say we, I don't mean we, I wasn't there. The 1880 census showed that the Chinese were coming in large numbers. Many took dangerous jobs in the mines or on railroad building crews. For the next century, immigrants from Canada crossing the southern border would be the largest group settling in many of the northernmost American states. Wow. You know what's interesting? I never really thought of the Canadians as being immigrants to America. Generally, we just think of Canada and America as being separate, but I also thought like you could freely go in and out. Let me know below in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Two, the Chinese Exclusion Act blocked the arrival of large numbers of Asian immigrants from wow. much of the next century. Unfortunately, the overall microdata for the 1890 census were destroyed in a 1921 fire at the Department of Commerce. I so never heard of that before. The turn of the century, when the territorial boundaries of the continental United States are settled. For the first time, Norwegians, Swedes, and Italians were the largest groups coming to the states of Swedes, South Dakota, Minnesota, Norwegians. and Louisiana, respectively. 1910 shows us how quickly things can change, with large numbers of Russians and Italians arriving. Okay, interesting about Swedes and Norwegians. I definitely did not know that there were many at all in America. Obviously, people from different backgrounds moved over, but I just never thought of Norway and Sweden because they are so independent and they sort of they don't spread out that much, so that's very interesting. You never hear of Swedish Americans or Norwegian Americans. You definitely hear of Italian Americans, Irish Americans, Chinese Americans, African Americans. I definitely have never heard of a Norwegian American. The only state where Ireland was the top country of origin was tiny Delaware. Wow. Population exceeding Delaware. One million in the 1920 census, there were equal numbers of German, Italian, and Russian-born immigrants. Many had fled Europe to escape the horrors of World War I. By 1930, the Industrial Revolution was in full swing and the country was growing rapidly from within, so the percentage of foreign-born fell. And for the first time since 1850, Mexico was the dominant country of origin for new arrivals to California. 
By 1940, the quotas and other congressional measures passed in the previous decade to restrict immigration sharply cut the foreign-born population to below 9%. Wow. 1950 saw the effects of the repeal of the Chinese Exclusion Act, as Chinese immigrants were finally welcomed back. Interestingly, Greeks were the largest group arriving in South Carolina. When Alaska and Hawaii became states in 1959, the year before the 1960 census, Canadians simply crossed the border to immigrate to the last frontier, but Filipinos crossed an entire ocean to become the Aloha State's largest group. By oh, oh, that makes total sense. I never thought about it before, but that makes total sense. The Filipinos going there, that, like, why has that never occurred to me before? It just hasn't. I never thought about it before. Percentage of foreign born reached an all time low. Italy was the only nation that had sent more than a million people. In 1980, wow. after Congress began granting more visas to people from the Western Hemisphere, the number of states where Mexico was the top country of origin doubled in a decade, becoming wow. the dominant foreign-born population in the entire country. And in 1990, America began to look like the diverse country we live in today. Mexico was tops in 18 states, Dominicans no were the there. largest group coming to New York, and South Korea and In 1990? That really surprises me, that we're not in the top five foreign-born populations. I would imagine if you looked into people's background more, you would find more Irish. So I'm not sure. Top five foreign-born populations by country of origin. Okay, so they may, may have been second generation, third generation. It's interesting that we're not in the top five in 1990 for sure were the leading countries of origin in seven states. In the year 2000 census, the number of Mexican-born immigrants surpassed 9 million. Wow. It's also notable that India was the top country of origin in three states. And India! The census reveals exactly why America is quickly becoming so diverse. Only five states, all of them bordering Canada, received the most immigrants from a majority white country. Thanks for watching. Interesting. I hope you enjoyed this visualization. Okay, that was like a very simple video, and yet it was totally, I never knew any of that. It makes sense there would be a lot of Chinese there because the population of China is so huge, but I definitely thought Irish and Italians made up a much larger part of the immigrants in America. That is so interesting. Let me know below in comments if you're familiar with all of that because I definitely learned something new today. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye. It's a very short video, isn't it? I don't know. It's okay. It's okay to have these short videos now and again, isn't it though? I think it's nice. Baby, you look like you're gonna fall off the couch. Chewie's just uh -oh. up.